Hello everyone. So today in this video we are going to use business rule in order to show and hide the fields as well as to make it business required mandatory or optional field and once if someone is coming and changing the value then it should clear the value after each uh, saving of the record. So we are going to do all these things by using the business rule. So to give you an overview here uh, I have a form called account PDS. So if I click on new we have a field called action required. So when it is no, the rescheduled date should not be visible. Currently by default it is visible. So if it is no, it should not be visible. If it is yes, then only it should be visible. And if it is nothing is there, then also it should not be visible. So previous to this video, I have, all, uh, I have covered showing and hiding of tabs based on option set value. So if it is red, red uh, tab is visible. If it is amber, amber tab is visible. If it's nothing then nothing should be visible so you can refer that video for showing and section of tabs be, using javascript because showing and section of tabs or section cannot be achieved via business rule so now let's uh, see our business rule for showing and hiding making the field mandatory and clearing the field so go to your solution this is my solution and uh, go to your let's come here maximize it go to your entities now my entity is account PD so expand that and here you'll be able to see business rules so you can click on this and you can click on new so this is the one way otherwise if you want to create from the form here itself you can see we have the option of business rule so once you click on this on the right side you'll get option of new business rule so from here also you can create a business rule now I'm going to create a new business rule Okay, and uh, going to give the name as uh, the field name is field name is reschedule date. Okay, so re date field field visibility visibility man uh, uh, required required and clear okay these three uh, uh, operations will be taking now let's add the condition so first we have to choose the entity for which we are creating this business rule so by default itself whatever the if you have opened in this one uh, this account pd then by default it will be selected this one the account pd now i'm going to give the name as so and hide so and hide okay and uh, entity it is already last okay now we are going to select the field so it should be based on action required right so we have the action required field okay i think the display name is something else let's see what is the actual name logical name action required is mot okay fine so let's see here MOT field is yes or no MOT here now if it is value is equal to yes okay no if value is equal to no then I do not want to show that uh, uh, reschedule field so as soon as you give all the condition make sure you are hitting the apply button if you don't hit on apply button whatever you have done will be gone okay so apply now you can see here in the in this mini uh, interface you can see if mot equals to no now another condition is i want to make it visible so i want to hide it so set visibility set visibility i want to hide hide reschedule field okay visibility what is the field name actual field name is date okay so let's select where is our date field okay click on apply and if it is no then it will be not visible apply it will not be visible now in case if it is uh, yes then add another condition set visibility in this one otherwise 
making the feasibility as yes date so this one will be so so field okay. so if mod equals to no hide the field else so the field now one more thing to uh, note down here is by default in the form you can see this field is visible right rescheduled date so we have to uncheck that field first so by uh, so by default so that it will not be visible on the default whenever uh, on the form whenever someone is creating the record so visible by default okay save and publish okay meanwhile let's continue here so set and this one is fine now i'm going to add if it is visible then i want to make it as mandatory okay so come to component and uh, business required okay i want to make which field date field as mandatory business required click on here set required now if it is not visible i want i don't want to make it mandatory and it will be hidden so not this one here set business required date field and it will be not business required that is fine only okay now this is done now in case if someone is coming uh, okay i'll give you example in uh, after showing this one let's save it first let's come and check this one whenever you create business rule you need to activate it then only it will come into the action hard refresh this field should not be visible by default rescheduled it okay it is not visible only action required is visible okay so let's come here and activate it as soon as we activate the field should get visible not visible and required optional all these things should come into effect activate it one more condition is pending i'll show after this so once it is activated you can't edit it in order to edit it you have to deactivate it and then only you should do it so coming here let's refresh it again and give dynamics okay and action required by default i have given as no now suppose if i click on yes okay still it is not reflecting refresh it it may take one or two minutes three minutes in order to sync or uh, to come the business rule into effect okay now it is okay so let's just save the value or save the record first dynamics business rule okay now if it is yes it is making it mandatory if it is no then it is not making as mandatory you can't see this because it is hidden if it is mandatory now then it will not allow you to save the field only so if i save it it is optional that's why we are able to save it now suppose uh, let's save and close it this is working fine now again if someone is coming and changing the value of action required as yes okay and if i'm giving the value as 21st save it if i'm coming on no again save it and if you see if you click on 6 again you are seeing the previous value whatever was selected is reflecting here so my another condition is whenever if i'm clicking on yes or no and if i'm saving it the value should be cleared okay like suppose if you are giving a yes and if you have some text value like xyz so it should clear the value so for that we are going to add one extra condition deactivate we are going to set the value set the field value so component set field value one option is you can give the default value okay if someone is choosing yes then he should go to the hospital if he is choosing the no he should not go to the hospital so you can give the default value but here we, i just want to clear the value so click on here here and the, it was date field i want to clear it so clear okay and again here set field value field value is date clear the value apply okay applied now activate it 
now once we change the status from yes to no the field will not the field value will be cleared it will not show the previous value activate it let's come here refresh it wait for one two minute give a hard refresh okay so the field is dynamics power right and action required no okay give yes mandatory i am giving it as 29th okay i am saving it okay if it is no okay here actually if it is we have we should not give the condition to both the places in yes or no that's why as soon as we are changing yes or no it is clearing the value so if it is no then it should not clear the value okay just remove it coming here so in the business rule what it was doing as whatever we, we were choosing yes or no it was clearing the reschedule date so but this field is mandatory that's why we were not able to save the record but now i have removed the condition and kept only on yes okay so coming here maybe it will take one two more minute let's click on new discard changes test and give it as yes field value should be Field value should be second or sixth. Okay, second. Save it. Okay, now on yes, it is changing. Okay, we need to modify it. It should be only on the no condition then. Save. Okay, so whenever we are marking it as no, then the field value is getting cleared. Get it, get the confirmation this one. Activating. So these are the small, small things which we will face during our requirements. So this is a normal thing. The things can't be done perfectly in one go. That's fine. It's not came into effect. Reload it. Okay, now I'm changing the value to 29th. Save it. Now, if I'm making it as no, uh, as soon as I'm making it as no, what it will do is it will clear the value. Okay, it will set the value to null. So, save it. Okay. Now, if I'm even if I'm coming and giving yes, it should give me the new. Uh, it should give me. It should not give me the previous value. Okay. See, it's not giving me the previous value. But before that, in the first step, it was giving the previous value. Okay. So, 28th save. So it doesn't matter now. Whenever you click on no, as soon as you click on no, the previous value will get cleared. Save it. Click on yes, and here you have to give the new rescheduled it. So that's all. Uh, in this video, we have seen how to make the field, how to show and hide the field based on option set value, how to make it business required and optional, and how to clear the value. So these all things are covered in this. If you have any doubts, you can post in the comment. Thank you. Bye bye.